We have a little under a month to go until the Lionsgate portal of 2023 opens wide. And this is a time like no other where you can connect. This is a time like no other where you can manifest into reality all of the things you have said that you wanted, you have dreamed of having, but have yet to manifest. This is an incredibly powerful time. And I want to share something with you. It's going to take you the next three or four weeks of consistent inner work to get this right. That's why we're doing it now. Four weeks out from the beginning of the Lionsgate portal because I want to empower you. I want you to stand at the doorway of the Lionsgate portal when it opens in July with your arms outstretched, ready to receive the millions of dollars, the lottery win that you know is yours. The relationship that is more loving and more intimate than you could ever have imagined. The healing that's got your name on it. The promotion. The dreams unfolding. This is your time. So come and let me tell you all about it. Hello gorgeous you. Welcome to Elevate for a New Day. I'm Ben. And I'm here all of the time encouraging you, lifting you up, sharing with you things I learned, studying for a degree in counselling, sharing with you around the brain sciences, the unfolding of the majesty of the universe. It's all here. Why don't you subscribe to the channel, friend? There is a very powerful four or five week period that we are about to enter into. Now, from around the 28th of July through until around the 12th of August is the Lion's Gate portal. The maximum, the most intense, the most, the most powerful of this portal opening falls on the 8th of the 8th. But through that whole season, you will notice a shift. You will notice your ability to sense things like never before. Have you ever had a, like an intuitive thought where you've just, you've just known something and lo and behold, you find out that that was true and it kind of, it kind of knocks you off your feet, doesn't it? You're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe. And that's when you realize just how interconnected we all are, just how interconnected this universe is. We are all made from the same thing and that is energy. Tiny particles and building blocks of life, energy that vibrates at frequency and all frequency carries upon it information. Now the Lionsgate portal is the most significant energetic portal of the year. This is a time like no other where all of the hosts of heaven lean over the balcony, look down upon you waiting for you to command a blessing waiting for you to speak into being the dream you want to come true. This is when energy serves you. You are not along for the ride. You are the ride. Now, if there are dreams that you have left to manifest, if there are dreams yet to be fulfilled, then listen up and listen good. Because I'm talking to you, friend. What matters the most coming into the Lionsgate season is the intention of your spirit. Year after year, I talk to people who feel like they've missed an opportunity. They've arrived at a certain time in their life. They've not been prepared. And so the moment passes them by. I was a Boy Scout when I was a young fella. I started in Cubs and our motto was to be prepared. Well, here we stand one month out from the opening of the Lionsgate portal, and I want you to be prepared. So I want to I want to serve you. I want to serve you in a way that I hope brings to remembrance all of the dreams that you have yet to fulfill. And it's time for you to start getting intentional around them. Now, what we try to do as humans is figure out a way to that dream ourselves. We all do it. It's OK. We have a feeling on the inside that we are going to come into millions of dollars, just overflowing abundance. And what happens in the subconscious mind tucked beneath the veil of the conscious is your subconscious mind agrees 
that money is coming for you, but it can't see how that's going to happen. Of course it can't. So what the subconscious mind does is it plants the seed of a feeling on the inside of you that says, I feel like I might win the lottery. But maybe it's not about winning the lottery. Are you okay with the divine showing up in your life in the way that it wants? Are you okay with God being God and not playing by anybody's rules? Because if that's the case, then it's time for you to take the reins off. It's time for you to let go of control and say, I feel like I'm going to come into millions of dollars. The only way I can figure that out is lottery, but I'm not married to that method of delivery. However it wants to show up in my life, I am ready to receive, baby. Now see, that's the energy that encourages manifestation. What most of us do is our energy pushes the manifestation away because we go looking for ways to manufacture it, to usher it. What can I do? How can I hustle and grind? And how can I make this happen, friend? No more making it happen. Can I ask you just in the next month to make your dream welcome with you? You do that by working on you, by becoming the person that your unique dream requires you to be in order for it to manifest. See, there is a version of you that exists that is required by your dream. And the evidence of this is in the conversations that each of us have around the fulfillment of our dream. When I sit with people and I talk with them and I coach with them, I say, tell me about your dream. What will it be like when you're there? Well, I won't have to worry about money and I will have lost all that weight and it'll be so much easier to not worry about this and I, I won't be talking about that. What, what makes us think that all of those things organically happen to our personality when our dream manifests? Don't work like that. The way that it works is that you become the person now your dream requires you to be. Your dream requires of you a certain skill set. The ability to negotiate life in a different way, negotiate relationships and trauma in a different way. Your dream requires you to have a certain type of language. Your dream requires you to deal with stress and pressure in a, a different way than what you are now. It requires of you a difference in your triggers and the reactions and responses thereof. The way to get the dream to manifest is to start becoming that person now. Breathe life into the version of you that is trying to be born all of the while. Stop clinging on to the dysfunction, to the old version of you, to the pain in the old body, to the bitterness in the old heart. Stop paying attention to that. Don't put a spotlight on that anymore. My encouragement to you is over the next month, get really intentional about your dream. Engage in the movie theater that exists in your mind with your dream fulfilled. Really pay attention to the version of you that is already living with that dream fulfilled. Listen at how you speak. Pay attention to what it is that you do, how you conduct yourself, how you feel, and just start becoming that now. You have to be intentional about this. But if you do this, when the Lionsgate portal opens, you will be ready. Your energy will have shifted, your vibration will have raised, and as you raise your vibration, as your energy begins to shift, there is nothing around about you that is not impacted by that, my friend, and that is what ushers in a new day. This is how the Lionsgate portal will serve you. So many people every year experience a shift. Let this be the final one. Let this be the shift that takes you from a land of dreams to a land of inhabiting the dreams. Let this be the shift that takes you to your own promised land. Now you can do it. You can maximize this opportunity. Get really clear on what it is that you want and start breathing life into the version of you that already exists in that promised land. As you do this, you will begin to sense in the energy a drawing, a newness and a nearness. Now I'm going to do some more videos on the Lionsgate portal as the day arrives. I'm going to do some meditations. But before we do those, 
It's up to you to do the inner work. Make time for this every day. I love you, friend. God bless you.